My name is Andreas Jakob, and I'm the newly elected judge in respect of Austria. I'm moving to Strasbourg from my position as a full professor of constitutional and administrative law at the University of Salzburg. Previously, I have held various academic positions at different institutions, such as Pazman University in Budapest, Hungarian Academy of Sciences, Nottingham Law School, Liverpool Law School, Centro de Studios Politicos e Constitucionales, and the Max Planck Institute in Heidelberg. My research areas include constitutional theory, Austrian, Hungarian, British and German constitutional law, uh, EU law, and the erosion of democracy and the rule of law. The court is the last line of defense for liberal democracy if national human rights protection fails. After the Second World War, it became clear that peace in Europe can only endure if countries are liberal democracies. And for a liberal democracy, you need human rights protection. In order to guarantee this, the court was established. Since then, the court has become the most respected and the most quoted human rights court in the entire world. There are so many landmark cases, but one that really stands out for me, that's the 1979 Sunday Times case. It shows the deep interconnectedness between human rights protection and democracy. It argues that for the democratic process, you need freedom of expression. And this freedom of expression does not only mean that the press has the right to inform the public, but also the public has the right to be informed. Since then, this understanding, the freedom of expression, has influenced various national constitutional laws as well.